Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be a Nakaya Neo Standard in Heki Tamanori finish. I'll do a quick unboxing. We've done this before, but once again, I'll remind you when you get a box with the return address, John Modishaw, you know, once again, it's going to be a great pen. So I'll run through this really quick. Um, like I said, we've done this did this last time, but for those who want to see this particular one, I'll unbox and show you so we can get to the pen. Um, the usual, the envelope that it comes in with your instructions and your congratulations of buying one. <clears throat> the bill, once again, just can't avoid that one. Um, please present you with the pen. And this tells you some of the different features some of the pens have. Um, all right. And it's in Japanese and American. Okay. Just so you know that you get that. Inside, you will find bubble wrap. This paper box. Uh, on the end, it says, Classic Fountain Pens. All of them come with these stickers uh, that, are, that tell you, you know, what's in it. This one is the uh, Neo Standard Writer. I should let you know there, there are two versions. Uh, the cigar version, they call it, uh, has no clip. The Writer version has a clip. Inside, beautiful wooden box. With their logo or maker's mark. And inside the wooden box... And it's nice, the nice padding inside. I'll protect what's in here, though. It's wrapped, uh, the pen is wrapped in its own kimono, so it keeps it safe. In cartridges, you always get a box of these. Um, I just delivered the work, so I actually popped one in just to see how it did. Because I couldn't wait to get home to open it. All right, inside your red felt line box. is your blue kimono. Really nice. Very nice presentation. Uh, it is silk lined. Most things that are, are done in uh, Arushi are um, silk lined. It, it helps protect them because the ultraviolet light can uh, dull the finish on these. And as you see, the finish is brilliant on this. Absolutely brilliant. Nice shine to it, and you can see um, in this version, you know, being the Heki Tamanuri, it's a brown and green. You can see here where the green is starting to come out. Uh, being that this is the writer with the clip, you can see uh, more of the green coming out through here. And then down at the break where where you uncap it, it meets through the pen. I mean, you can see you can even see the detail, of the brush strokes. Um, and as time goes by, and the Arushi lightens up the the top coat that's much darker, uh, more of the brown, more of the green, it is going to uh, come out in this. No matter what angle you look at this, it, it, it's just the fit and finish is unbelievable on these pens. I, just, I sat there and looked at it with a uh, with a loop, just looking for a flaw, looking for something to be wrong, and uh, which can be hard because you sit there and you say, "What if something is wrong?" But it, I have yet to find something. Um, getting it from nibs.com. If if there is anything wrong, you know, once again, these you just call up John and you let them know what's going on and they'll be more than willing to take care of it. This one has the uh, gold-plated clip. I got everything standard on this. I did order a double broad. I wanted something... I should say, I, I'm going to say something different, but I wanted to see how, they, how a standard nib came just straight up double broad. Um, being that it's an Asian pen uh, and not a Western nib, it, it's double broad is more like a regular broad for uh, for them. Um, people have also asked I'm going to try and get a couple of details in this that uh, I missed the last time um, 
One is I'm going to show you how to take apart the converter. I did figure out how to do that. Um, the turns to take the cap off. Um, being that this has a clip, this is very easy to show. It does take three turns, if it matters. To me it doesn't, but, you know, some people think, you know, right, there's one, there's two, and this third turn, it comes off. Okay? So three turns, and the cap comes off. Um, while we have the cap off, I'll show you something else. Um, there was a thread on Fountain Pen Network where someone's cap, I forgot what you call this part right here, but where it separates so that the clip can actually be put on here. Uh, because you can get these customized. John has a lot of different clips on hand. You can go to his site and, and take a look, but if should you have wanted like a Rufium or something like that, um, you can have that done. And they, this piece can be removed. I'm going to say this, and I mean it. Do not remove this on your own. If you really want to, you can, but I'm telling you, I would not mess around with this. These pens are not cheap. They are very expensive. And should you crack it or something happen, you're stuck. And all you had to do in the, in, in the first place was call up John, tell him what's going on. He's going to say, send it back, and he'll make it right. If it cracks while he's fooling around with it, it's on him. And, you know, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to show you at an angle what's going on. Um, if you look down there, you see that screw? Obviously, I don't know that this, this piece, if it screws in, locks down, and then that screw in there goes in and, and tightens everything. But the fit and finish on this one, I'll try and get a really good close-up here. And, and hold it still. But it was at that seam that was off on someone's just a little bit so that it was, if you ran your fingernail on one side, it didn't catch. If you ran it on the other side, it did catch. So it was just sitting just a little bit, say, to the right. Um... And I'm sure, like I said, these are made to be adjusted. There was one person I read, and again, don't do this, who actually said he loosened the screw ever so much and was able to wiggle this top part so that it was perfectly flush and tighten it back down. Remember, if you tighten this down, being an Arushi-coated um, pen, if the excess pressure you put on it cracks it, you're done. So don't be silly. You know, let, let John, who's an expert at it, I've been doing it for a long time. Take care of that. Oh, well, anyways, so you can see the inside of the of the cap, how well finished it is. Um, the beautiful green coming out. Just really nice. Um, the pen. <clears throat> what I really like about this. Uh, again, this is and this is the 14 karat gold um, double broad nib. Let's get focus. Um, with a plastic feed. And again, feeds great. I mean, this double broad is nice. It's juicy. I had them do a 7 out of 10 uh, as far as wetness goes because that's one of the things you can do is designate if you want it dry or wet. A scale of 1 to 10. Um, 1 being dry, 10 being very wet. Uh, you can see here in Japanese it's written underneath where it says 14K. Those are the letters for uh, double broad. <clears throat> again, fit and finish, stunning. But what I was going to say is I love how the green comes out um, on this, especially especially around these these rings here, here, and uh, and your threading. I mean, it's really nice. You can see the deep brown colors in it, and uh, as time goes by, once again, it will come out more and more and be more prominent. It's a, um, obviously, cartridge or... Um, converter filler. Uh, the converter just sits in here. It's pressure fit, but it is a nice pressure fit. You can actually hear the seal as, as it came out a little bit. Um, I get your shot. You can see how it, it's almost like a soft plastic inside of there, that ring, and it sits and seats really well uh, inside on, focus. on there. And it gives it really a really when you push it in, it has a nice positive feel to it and locks in. Um, I'll take the uh, converter apart before I ink this up and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So those who are fanatical, yes, you can indeed take this converter apart very easily um, to service it. I have this. I'll just give you a quick shot inside. You know, I mean, all handmade, all hand finished. Um, really nice.
Beautiful, beautiful work. I mean, you can just see the colors come out. You can see some of the uh, my hand grease is getting on this. I'm sorry, but in the right light, you can see how the the brown and in, in the wave from just the brush strokes when they when they do this. Just phenomenal detail. Okay, all right. So that's about it. Again, I just wanted to give you guys some good close ups so you could really see this pen and. Uh, Let's cap it, and I'll be right back. We'll do a writing sample, we'll weigh it, and uh, again, I'll show you how to take that converter apart. And we're back. So we're going to weigh this, start with that, and again, this is in grams. Pen's going to weigh in 28.2. Cap, 8.7. And the pen itself. 19.6. Oops. Did I do the whole pen? I did. 28.2. All right. Off. Now, before I ink it up, I'll give you a quick look at uh, how to take this converter apart. It's very simple and straightforward. Comes off. Um, the first one I tried was really tight, uh, but this one was uh, a little bit easier. And since I had an extra one now, I was not as afraid to give it a little push. So, you're going to go counterclockwise, meaning you're going to turn it this way. Okay? And it'll break. The, the seal will break. You'll feel it. I'm sorry, not the converter. And the gold part comes off. One. This comes out. And you can unscrew this piece and then you have the collar this collar is universal I looked at it up close um, it's exactly the same on both sides so it doesn't matter how it's on there it's going to sit correctly you don't have to worry about that all right and this bottom piece I couldn't get off I think it's 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 just fixed on there or glued on there but you can get in there and you can clean everything out and have it good as new uh, put a little silicone on here if you if you need to and uh, putting it back together, you slide it back in. The collar goes on. Now there is a, it, it is flat, so it'll only go on one way. All right, and the collar itself, you can see the flat sides also it has those flat sides, so it'll only sit one way. Let it drop down. This on, screw it down, and you'll see it'll start to click around, but it, it you get the feel for it. It's simple. It goes back on. Screw this down, hand tight, don't go nuts, um, and that's it, down and up. When I first did this, by the way, anyone who's looking, I thought there was airspace here, but there's actually a stopper where this is, so it gives it a, a, a positive stop, because I was looking at it, I'm like, am I getting all the ink I can? But again, it's a converter, it's a nice converter, well done, I like the fact that now, and now I'm happier with it because I can take it apart. All right, so in... We have to fill this. Let's use, um, to match the colors, we're going to try some uh, Jonathan Swift Mont Blanc, which is a seaweed green. Nice ink. <clears throat> okay, before I get it inky, you can see this nib one last time. Beautiful. Nice. Bat nib on that. All right. Down in. Inked. Give it a quick wipe. Again, what's great about these pens is the uh, ink wipes off them so cleanly. I mean, you just wiped it for a second and it's clean as can be. You're not going to end up with it on your hands or anything. Cap. Cap the ink. Okay. We're ready to go. Stops, nice positive stop. Um, all right. Don't post it. You're not supposed to post it. It's not made to be posted. Hiroshi is not supposed to be done. But you can stick it on the end, and it'll kind of stay, and it looks kind of, kind of stupid. 
But if you really must post it, I, I guess you can. If it's if it's your pen, if you really want to do it. So I did it, and you can see it, and everyone can cringe, and the rest of you can say, oh, well, that's how it looks. So, all right. So that's it. That'll be the last time I ever need to post it. All right. Okay, let's see how it writes. thought I was going to get you guys some writing sample a lot earlier than this. Um, this is, well, I'm bouncing the camera around, uh, White Lines. This is the uh, Squared book, which some of the noodlers, I, I remember I showed you before, there was some bleed through on it. Um, but all right. I'm trying to change the camera a little bit so that I can keep my writing sample in the center of the screen. Okay. So, how does the big double broad do? It does really well, because when you before you get it, John, make sure that it, it fits for your style. Mine being right-handed, it's set up for a right-handed person. I wanted a 7 out of 10 flow. It's set at a 7 out of 10 flow. It's been smooth. It's been made sure that when I got it, it was good to go. So as soon as I put the pen down, without any fear, I know that it is going to write right away. Nice, even. The writing isn't nice and even, but you can see that this pen writes nice and smooth. Most of that squeaking is from the paper. I'll change papers in a second um, to give you a better look. Now this is also a much harder nib. They do make a soft medium and a soft uh, fine, which has some flex to it. This really, I mean, this is just no pressure. This is how it looks. Very even both ways. Um, a little pressure. I mean, there is a little bit of give, but I'm pushing down on it, and it's not comfortable. So it's not something that's going to flex um, you know, that naturally for you. It's not made for that at all. But you can see the flow on this is set exactly how I asked for it. Um, you know, it's wet. It's laying it down a nice wet line. I mean, when it's a seaweed green, it looks like it's seaweed because it's going to smear. Uh, and this paper is very absorbent. You can see where it's a little bit wetter. It's starting to feather in here. Um, it's just one of the characteristics of this, of this paper I found. Now, sometimes I'll do at the end, when I sign something, I'll do one of these. I know a lot of people do these, but and draw it down. And when I do it, I like to have more line variation in this. And because John did this nib and set it up so that it's exact, it's fine. You just flip the nib over because while it's a double broad one way, a double broad um, Japanese version, more of a broad, straight broad for the Western nibs. If you flip it over, it will write in a fine nib. Sorry about that, running out of space. Um, but again, if you flip it over, it's a uh, wonderful fine nib that writes beautifully. Skip free. Wonderful. Okay. Um, before I run out of time, we'll put this on some Claire Fontaine so you can see how it does with this too. You can see the absorption is a little bit different, so it's actually a little bit broader line, a little bit wetter. Very wet. Very wet on this paper. Um, final one, let's do uh, some Tomo River and see how it does.
line, same thing. Still wet, but not as wet. This is paper doesn't absorb well. Um, so, I knew with a nice little close up here. And uh, you wrote a beautiful pen. Last words on this um, that I will say the nib cannot be removed. I mean, it can be, but John is the one that would do that for you. Uh, I've never seen or heard of anyone that has done it, so changing the nib out on your own, well, something that's not uh, readily done. But I'll thank you for watching. And see you again soon. Celebrate Fountain Pen Day. Again, it's going to be the first... Friday in November.